Bethesda has created a new batch of Wildwood and medieval items, such as new prefabs, chairs, a new set of walls, and even message boards. Let's dive in. Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. It's time for another preview using Expedition's Update 38 game files. This time I will showcase 20 new items for the Atomic Shop following the country Wildwood team, as well as a few from the Fresh Medieval team. For this preview, you can expect a few massive prefabs, as well as a few rustic items, like a new sort of bat barrel, a new chair, planter, tree stumps, leather seeds, stone walls, a tomb bed, and so much more. I hope you're ready. There's plenty of exciting stuff ahead. But before we get there, do let me inform you that I'm currently using a Yeti microphone instead of my usual Rode. That's why my voice might sound rougher or even different. All right then, with that out of the way, let's get started. Have you ever wished you could build a wasteland bar or tavern in 76? Well, with the upcoming Wildwood Tavern prefabricated, you will be able to make your dreams come true. After all, Bethesda is planning to release this massive tall building with three levels and plenty of space to sort of build your shop as well as your living quarters too, if that's what you wish. Just like many family-owned restaurants and bars work in real life. When you own the building, you can easily just make it all in one. Here's a small tour inside the Wildwood Tavern. The ground level is definitely the one with the most space and the least light. All the windows are barricaded with wooden planks for some reason. The first level is a bit smaller and the window trend continues. I think only one is actually open. At the first level, there is a decent balcony space too, enough to place a spa pool or a table with chairs, for example. Then the second level is only accessible through these exterior stairs. There's even a small balcony on the right side and as to be expected, the room here is very small. You can basically build a bedroom or get creative with tiny building to make more house areas fit in this tight space. Moving forward, this prefab also comes with this lovely wooden door, which should be suitable for standard door frames too, judging by the size. This is basically a variation of the free and existing red circus door. This brown gold version looks really fancy though. But then again, everything looks fancy in my opinion. You can really have fun and let your imagination run wild with this one. I just hope it won't be too expensive. However, I'm not so sure this is a brand new asset. This seems to be like an existing building. There are some in games such as Morgantown. This building over here looks awfully similar, does it not? Still, I think this release will be a pleasant surprise for many 76 players, even if it's not 100% new. What do you think though? Let me know in the comments. Next, to ensure your Wildwood Tavern will have proper matching chairs, but as they created those fancy leather seats. There are two variations as shown, but there's something strange about one of them with the plain metal back, this one. In earlier PTS patches, this tool was much, much taller. And now with the latest update, Bethesda reworked this tool to make it significantly shorter. It currently looks like this, but before it was a tiny bit taller. Just a tiny bit, as you can see in this other screenshot. It's as if they were planning to release some really tall table or counter, but we did not find anything of the sorts in the files, so it could explain why they just sized this tool down to match existing items. Anyhow, here is the preview of the second leather stool. They are both labeled as Wildwood items according to the game files. As far as I know though, there is no Wildwood table yet, but these fit really well with most wood rustic furniture, especially the wooden counters just like here in the footage. It's like a perfect match made in heaven, as if they were set for real when they are not, but that's a good thing. It creates more diversity for camp building. As obviously, they also look very nice inside the Wildwood Tavern, since there is plenty of wood to go around. Well then, enough of wood talking, let's keep moving. Now, I suspect Bethesda will release a huge Wildwood bundle because there's also this catchy sign saying Wildwood Tavern, which, to be honest, doesn't have many practical uses, but it will surely fit the new tavern prefab like a glove and possibly a few other things too, 
such as wooden constructions and other rustic prefabs, which you might turn into taverns. Anyway, this new sign is quite colorful and it's illuminated too, which means it's visible at night, no need for extra lamps around it. No, no, no. <laughs> Here's a small preview at night to give you an idea. And of course, I did not forget about the in-game clip. It's quite a huge sign, isn't it? Well, I think this one is really coming with the respective prefab. It's what makes the most sense, at least. Moving forward, there are even more message boards on the way to the Atomic Shop to ensure you can truly express yourself kidding. Now, these are not wildwood items, but they could very well be since they are made out of different types of wood. There are two of them and the main difference is within the shape of the roof. One has a V-shape and the other is just an angled roof, really. Anyway, both message boards will work as decor items and it does not let you directly write on it. The examples you see are made up with letter sets. You can attach all sorts of wall decor to them, such as posters, trophies, pure decor, and so on. As long as it fits, you can pin it there. That's basically the rule. Lastly, I noticed something strange here. At least one of these wooden boards require power, as shown in the footage, but both of them have attached lamps, so it's still not clear what's the final version. Either way, both have lamps, so it means they will need power one way or the other. It's only the conduit part shape that remains unclear in this case. And because most of this video is featuring wooden items, I've got some more interesting new stuff to show you. Starting with this canoe tire chair, it's basically a piece of a canoe attached to truck wheels. There's even an anchor and a thick metal chain to balance the entire seat. This is definitely one of the most alternative chairs we ever got in 76, and it pairs well with the recent Kanoe releases, so that's a plus. Also, I'm well aware I'm murdering this Kanoe word. Oopsie, I guess. Let's not forget about the Sadzi barrel, which is a very rustic item. As the name suggests, this is basically a small bathtub or some sort of bidet item. You know, to wash your feet or something more intimate, if you know what I mean. So I think it's safe to say that as the literally turn half of a wooden barrel into a bidet, just so you can enjoy a good wash with lots of sudsy, or shall I say, a foam. Now the question is, will your character wash inside, like inside of a shower? Hmm? I'm not sure, at least the item is not labeled as decor, it's under furniture and structures, so there is a good chance there will be a new animation or interaction later on. I'm very curious to know what it is though. Well, Only time will tell, for real, so let's keep moving. Alright, still on the Keno team, Bethesda is releasing another planter, a black one using the already released Kano planter, it's the same model. It's basically a variation and I have no idea why haven't they released it yet together with the other stuff last week. Well, actually, I do know it's called monetization strategies, but hey yo, it's more profitable to sell things separately than everything together, I suppose. Something else coming is these three stompers. There are three of them in the game files. They look pretty great, especially as decor for gardens or yards or even small farms at your camp. Each one comes with a different tree stump shape and diverse mushrooms, wasteland ones, of course, with weird colors, blue and red and beige. Definitely not the brain or glowing fungus we usually eat in 76. I don't suppose those are edible, so don't even try. It's poor decor, guys, don't forget about it. Did you know there is a new instrument on the way? That's right, according to the files, there is at least one resonator item coming. I'm saying at least one because there are multiple resonator guitar entries, as you can see here, but I think it's because the instrument is a merge. You know, chair instruments are always made out of two items. They merge two into one, always the instrument and the chair. Therefore, in the files, it shows the instrument as one item, and then, together with the chair, it's another item. It might sound weird, but it's how it works. Anyway, according to Bethesda, players will be able to play the blues using this resonator guitar, so I do believe they will add a distinct sound just for this one. As for the play animation, it should be the same exact one used for all the existing guitars. 
Alright, now let's go over the new medieval items, a pretty new team for 76 and as I predicted in my previous preview videos, but as the plans to explore the medieval field quite a bit, I would say. They have already created this massive medieval Portualis gate, it's how it's currently called, and no, it's not a prefab in the sense of a building with building space inside, nothing alike, it's just a giant gate. Here is the front and back view, so you see there's nothing to build inside, it's just a pass-through gate. Anyway, there seems to be no door for this gate, but that's because everything was designed into the asset already, so it incorporates the gate itself. So unlike cheer instruments, this gate was created with a door already, and that's why you cannot find it separately in the files, which is literally that metal grid you see at the entrance. Here's the side-by-side -side of the gate with the door open and closed, now, you may be wondering how can you open or close this door? Well, it should be easy, but as he's adding levers to automatically pull the door, as you can see here, but we only found this one lever at the top, which is not exactly practical, but the item might be incomplete still. Other than that, this item is really, really huge, and it will allow players to come up with some really inspiring concepts, I believe. And because a gate is not very useful without matching fences, but as I also created a fence kit, as shown in the files, it's called Medieval Fence Kit, and it should include four items: a long wall, a short wall, the pole to connect the walls, and medieval stairs as well. This is not set in stone, though. It wouldn't surprise me if they end up selling the stairs separately, for, for example. Anyhow, these walls are very refined, and honestly, they don't look that medieval to me. They come with metal covers all over the place, as well as metal spikes on top of the wall and where the metal beams meet. There's even barbed wire on top of the spikes. The pole follows a similar logic. Yeah, I really don't think this concept fits the medieval team at all. I mean, really, barbed wire centuries ago. Really, Bethesda, history books say otherwise. But AO, it surely fits other teams like the Raider or Military, so we should embrace it with might if it's our style. As for the stairs, they are made out of wood with lots of sticks protecting the sides, creating a sort of pattern even. This one is definitely medieval, unlike the fences. I really don't think it fits the gate or the fences, but it seems to be all part of the same team somehow. I don't know how, but it is. <laughs> Maybe something will change here later on, like the item names. Otherwise, I think people will feel a bit deceived and upset once they purchase such items, just to find out they hardly match one another. It doesn't add up. It's like two complete different styles with the same team name. The only thing connecting the gate and fences in my view is this white stone, and that's it. Pronto. Lastly, I have this very medieval new item to showcase. I present to you the tomb bed. I wonder if Bethesda is going to add vampire stuff, vintage, dungeon-like, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, this could definitely be the start of a new era. Let's hope not, though. It's not very fitting for a post-apocalyptic wasteland game, but then again, with all the strange stuff we already got so far, it could work out in the end, at least for some. Anyhow, this tomb is a real bed in the game files, which means players will be able to sleep on it. I mean, hopefully not on top of the stone, this one looks like marble when you zoom in, but that doesn't make things any more comfortable, does it? As for the animation, I suspect the character will just slip inside the tomb to sleep, like a true vampire would do, and then receive the well-rested buff but I'm not 100% sure yet how will it work. It's like a surprise item for the time being. There are so many new items coming with the Pit Expeditions DLC, it's crazy. I'm having a hard time covering everything, honestly, but I believe you guys love to see such content, what's coming, so I will keep making those item previews as much as I can. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed another batch of new stuff, 
this time dedicated to the Wildwood, Rustic and Medieval teams. Let me know which item was your favorite so far. Mine was definitely the first one, the Wildwood Tavern. It's a really nice prefab, so many possibilities right there. Anyway, that's it for now. Expect news very, very soon. As for me, I'm Marta Branco. Thank you so much for watching. A huge shout out to all my dear supporters. You guys rock. Feel free to leave a like, comment below and subscribe to help the channel out. And that's it. Until the next time, take care. Adios. Bye bye.